Now I'm not one to decorate for holidays, but when I saw this laser star projector in the Christmas decorations aisle, I figured that this would be a uh, decoration that I could probably enjoy, but I have a feeling it's going to need some heavy modification before it's acceptable. So I've powered up this little laser show here, and as you can tell, it's very disappointing. Like, is this thing even on? Like, I can barely see anything. It needs to be at least a thousand times stronger. I mean, come on, it's the 21st century. This thing should at least be able to light some things on fire. So I guess I'm going to have to tear this thing down and see if I can make it much stronger. The construction on this laser show is fairly simple. So you have two laser modules here, a red and a green one. Then up front, you have uh, some diffraction gratings. In fact, there's two on each side here. And then uh, one of these on each side is connected to some gears that's hooked up to a motor. So once the motor turns on, it starts rotating one of those diffraction gratings. And then you get all those uh, changing patterns on the wall. Diffraction gratings are cool little optics that can be used to split up laser beams as well as decompose light into its constituent colors. And in fact, it relies on the uh, wave properties of light to cause that interference. And by changing the uh, distance between the slits on the grating as well as geometry, you can get a ton of different patterns by shining laser beams through them. I have this 5 watt blue laser diode that I want to shove inside that laser show, but this is going to bring a few issues. For one, this little dinky driver board is way too weak to power a 5 watt blue laser. And also, because this, uh, the power output is going to be a thousand times stronger, the optics inside this thing are likely going to fail. So I'm going to have to do a few uh, modifications to this thing in order to get it running. So I'm going to go ahead and state the obvious and say that a device that shines a 5 watt laser all over the place is extremely dangerous. In fact, just getting hit by one of those tiny stray beams would give you permanent eye damage. So I do not recommend you do this one at home. Now to give you an idea on the power of this new laser, here's a uh, eye laser safety chart. So the original product had a power of 5 milliwatts, it's that second line there, so it's just barely off the beginning there. Now anything in this range between about 5 and 500 milliwatts, a, uh, that's about the range where uh, getting a direct hit in the eye is going to cause permanent eye damage, or even just a uh, reflection off of a shiny surface. And now the highest uh, danger rating imposed by the FDA is at a half a watt, and that's the class 4 designation. Now anything above here can uh, give you eye damage just from looking at the spot on the wall. And my uh, 5 watt laser is 10 times over this uh, highest danger safety rating here. So it's like way, 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 way over here. So yeah, this thing could really mess you up if you took a hit. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to wear laser goggles. Now before I throw this laser inside that projector, I feel like we should screw around with it just a little bit. So let me fire this thing up. Yeah, that's a very intense beam. Here's a match. Yeah, that's much stronger than the original laser. Here's the casing of that laser projector. Yeah, shot right through it. Crazy. A little nitrocellulose. and a little ferrocerium powder. I'm going to see if this little plastic diffraction grating will survive in the beam. Alright, here we go. Yeah, so far it's doing pretty well. And it is awesome how it splits up those beams. Alright, that's enough screwing around. It's time to stick the laser inside of this projector. So this uh, laser diode module does fit inside the heatsink of the uh, old laser module that came with the unit. But it's a little bit loose, and considering how strong this laser diode is, I feel like it's going to overheat in just a few seconds if I don't do anything about that. So I'm going to try uh, replacing the heat sink. Here's what I've come up with so far. Now this uh, laser module in here that has the 5 watt laser diode did not fit snugly in that original heat sink. So I put it in that uh, new heat sink and then put a fan next to it to keep it cool. And then also I built a uh, laser diode driver to power up that blue laser. And now you can't just simply hook up a uh, laser diode directly to a power supply because you'll blow it. So I had to build this uh, nice current regulated driver here. And I think it should work pretty well. Here's the finished product. So yeah, it's not as contained as the original thing, but my device is a lot cooler. So the heart of the device is right here. It contains the, uh, the laser, the diffraction grains, as well as the motor. And here's the original power board that I have still controlling the motor there. Now here's my own uh, driver here that powers the laser diode. And I have two switches here, one for the laser as well as one for the fan here. And then I have this beefy DC power supply that powers up the whole thing. So yeah, that's it. And without further ado, let's get this thing running. All right, moment of truth. Does it work? <laughs> that's ridiculous. So yeah, it may be able to blind you instantly, but it is a lot cooler than the original product. This laser's only been on for a few seconds, but it's already starting to burn a hole through that diffraction grating. You can see that uh, blemish there on the left. 
I'm going to see if sandwiching this diffraction grating in between a couple planes of glass will help mitigate this burning effect. I'm hoping that the glass will act as a weak heat sink, or at least keep out the oxygen for when it gets hot. So we'll give this thing a try. Now in my opinion, I feel that Chris's decorations are only worth putting up if they at least carry some risk of uh, burn or electrocution. So let's see if this thing can do that to me. Ooh, ouch! Ooh, burn so good. Apparently this thing is strong enough to engrave black plastic. I'm going to leave it on for about an hour and see what kind of pattern it leaves. So it's been about an hour, let's see what it looks like now. Huh, that is not what I was expecting. That's really, really cool. Must be some sort of Easter egg put in by the manufacturer. I fogged up this bathroom a bunch to see what the effect looks like. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Absurdly powerful. Oh, and for the record, those are not my hair products over there. I wish I could point the camera into the lasers, but I'm scared it would nuke the sensor on this thing, so I'm not going to do that. But I bet you it would be very, very cool. If it wasn't for that whole permanent blindness thing, I'd love to put a mirror on every surface in the room and then shine this thing around. It would give you this crazy, crazy effect. I really, really wish I could take off my goggles and experience this in person, but that would likely be the last thing I ever see. Although it would be a pretty cool last thing to see, to be honest. Here I've stuck a jar of fluorescein solution in the beam path. Wow, that is so cool. Incredibly bright. Here I've zoomed in so you can see the details of that changing beam pattern. It's super, super awesome. So that's about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I apologize if I sound kind of hoarse. I've had some stupid respiratory infection for a while. It just won't go away. In fact, I was going to wait till after I got better to post this video, but it's been so long I might as well just get something out there. Uh, I guess I'd like to give you a few uh, channel updates. Uh, for one, I got my laser bazooka video back, so that is super awesome because I thought it was going to be gone for good because YouTube said it was misleading, but I guess somebody reviewed it and uh, agreed that it was not a misleading title, so I'm super thankful about that. And then uh, also I'd like to thank all my Patreons. I've been getting a ton of support from that website recently, and I just can't thank you enough. All that funding is going to go to some awesome projects, and I'm planning on really stepping up my game here. So uh, yeah, until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.